What's up, cheesy love song guitar players of the universe? I'm gonna teach you how to play the song, Ordinary Song, by Mark Velasco. I hope this helps a lot of you guys out. And if you end up harana-ing your, is that harana-ing, is that a word? Uh, if you end up making harana to your sweetheart and she falls in love with you because you played this song for her and you learned it from me, then you owe me lunch. I'll play through, it's in three parts, um, the intro, the verse and the chorus. Those are the three parts of the songs uh, of the song. Intro, verse, and chorus. I'm gonna play through the uh, part and then I'll teach you how to play it. So this is me playing through the intro first. <laughs> So you're going to start on a C chord, and you're going to play fifth string. Uh, this is all with your fingers, by the way, with these four fingers. Um, just play down whatever is more comfortable for you. We are going to play fifth string, fourth string, third string, and then first string. So you go. And then you're going to go to a G over B chord, which is... Uh, um, index finger at the second fret on the um, fifth string and then ring finger at the third fret at the second string and you're gonna play the four middle strings all at the same time with these four fingers you're just gonna play all right just like that and then you're going to go to an A minor chord and you're gonna play just the four middle strings again um, all at the same time so together that's You can do a little like slap thing if you want, or if you don't really have to. So again, one more time. All four of those strings together, uh, the four middle strings together. And then you play fourth string, uh, third string, and then put your pinky down at the third str uh, first, first string, third fret, and then open string, uh, open um, first string. So. So all that together now is starting from the C. Got it? Cool. And now the next is a uh, D minor 7th chord. So D minor 7th is um, just barring right here at the 2nd um, the and 1st strings at the 1st fret and then your middle finger right there at the 2nd fret on the G string or third string and you're gonna play um, just all four of those strings starting from the D so fourth third second first so now all together starting from the C all right and now you're going to play a G chord what the way you want to play this is put your third um, sorry your ring finger at the third fret, low E string, and you're good. And you, yep. And now you're going to um, that way. It'll leave this these fingers available to do other things. And you're going to play the third fret, low E string, and the open string, uh, second string, B string at the same time. And then you're going to you're you're plucking up now. You're going to play the third, um, the G string, third string, and then the fourth string right here. So you go. Now you're going to play the low E string and the. Um, put, uh, put down your index finger at the first fret on the B string, and you're and you're going to play the low E string, first fret B string and the G string all at the same time together. All right, that's that right there. Then you're going to take your pinky and put it down at the uh, third fret on the B string. And you'll play 
a, the low E string, at the low, low E string at the third fret, the G string, and the B string third fret all together. So it sounds like this. All all together, the the G chord stuff is like this. So starting at the C chord, here's the first half of the intro. You can throw in a couple little random notes other than those, um, like you just saw on the D, uh, the D minor seventh. I just went. I can you can throw in a little dun dun, you know, something like that. But really, all you need is that. And I think on the album, that's all that there is. There are actually two guitars, uh, two acoustic guitars playing during this song. So there's certain notes that you can't do all at the same time. But this is basically, it's going to sound pretty full just with one acoustic guitar because I'm playing most of the little melody parts as well. Okay, so one more time, all the way through there is. Then it just repeats that again. Does the exact same thing for the second half of the intro. So it does it again. And now the only difference is it does that one more time. That little dun 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 dun, that little G chord thing, it does that again. So it goes. And then one more time. So that it does twice um, for the at the very end of the intro. And then it goes into the verse. Now I'm going to play all the way through the entire first verse of Ordinary Song, and then I'm going to explain to you how to play it. I'll play through a little bit slowly so it's easier for you to practice along with, and you'll notice that it's almost the exact same chords and licks as the intro. Here's how to play it. If you've learned the intro already, which you should have, then it's almost the same up to a certain point. So I'll play it up until the point when it changes. That way I don't have to explain the exact same thing twice. Okay, so it starts on the C chord, and you exactly the same as intro. Play a C, and then B over G, and then A minor, and then that little A minor seventh lick then D minor 7th, then uh, the G lick, and then here's where it changes. So up to that point, it's exactly the same as the intro. That's how the intro goes. All right, now it goes back to the D minor 7th chord, and um, that's going to go, uh, you just play D minor 7th, which is barring at the B and E strings at the 1st fret, and the, uh, yeah, and then playing the second fret at the G string, and then play all four of those notes. So. And then you'll go back to the G chord, but this time you, uh, you don't do the little G lick. You just play the third fret at the low E string, and then pick the open, uh, D string, open, G string, open, uh, B string, and then back to the open G string. So, from the D minor 7th, and then the G chord. And then you go to C chord. It's just a C chord, just the lowest three notes of a C chord. And then you're going to put your pinky at the B string on the 3rd fret and your index finger at the first string, first fret at the E string. And you're gonna play the um, A string third fret 
and those two notes at the same time. So A string, third fret, B string, third fret, E string, first fret, all at the same time. And this is the lick, so. Then you're gonna pick up your pinky and you're gonna place your index finger at the first fret on the B string. And now you're gonna play third fret, A string, first fret, B string, and open E string all together. So all together that lick on the C chord is. And then you go back to the G chord, but this time you do the little uh, lick that ends the intro, which is the um, third fret, low E string, picked at the same time as the uh, B string, open. And then you pick the uh, G string, D string, then you place your index finger down at the B, uh, high, uh, B string, first fret, and you're gonna play G string, or E string, third fret, G string open, B string, first fret, all at the same time. And then put, put your pinky down at the B string, third fret, you're gonna, you're gonna play G, E string, third fret, G string open, and B string at the third fret all together. So, okay, so I'll start um, one more time and I'll show you. This is the same as the intro. And then, yeah, this is where it changes D minor 7 to G to C chord. lick and then back to the G with a lick. Cool. So that's the verse. Uh, it just repeats that exact same um, thing one more time. So the first half of the first verse, that's exactly what it is. Then the second half of the first verse, it just repeats that, but the last chord changes. So instead of playing a G chord with a little lick, that you instead just play a regular C chord and you just pluck a regular C chord. So let me go through the, and the second half of the first verse. Here we go. And then here's where it changes after it goes. Usually it would go um, to a, the G chord lick right there, but instead you're just going to keep those fingers held down at a regular C chord and just pick, which which is, um, or doesn't really matter, you can pick any of those notes, but just all, all in a regular C chord. Um, so just pick uh, fifth string, fourth string, third string, second string, and first string if you want to throw that in too. 